The bathroom and the kitchen is really where we want to spend all of our money. This is where the house is going to sell itself. And there's a lot of thought into this bathroom. So if we yeah. get this whole place done for under 10 grand, not material, but labor, that would be a really good goal. Okay, so we paid, I think I paid 145 for the house. So I paid 145, let's say 150 with loan costs. The goal on this house, three week turn. So we say loan costs, that means like hard money loan. Our loan cost is $150,000. So now we're in it for 150. Let's say it costs us 15 grand. Now we're in it 165 let's say we go up to 20 we're at 170 can we sell it for 219 so if we sell it for 219 i'm going to list it myself with a flat fee mls that's going to cost me around 500 dollars plus i got to pay out three percent three percent call it 6500 bucks so 6500 at 220 off the top so if we're following me 220 take off call it seven for easy math 213 and now we got plus 20, we got 170. So we've got potentially a spread of about $43,000. I'd be happy to make 25 grand on a house. You never hear me say that, but this is one of those ones where I was like, ah, it's clean enough. This is a hot area. Again, a little bit's gonna go a long way here. I would go and say Troy's budget, seven grand. Now the cool thing is if we make 25 grand, which would be my minimum. So if we make 25 grand, you gotta look at how where, where real estate really makes sense. To buy this property cost me 145, as I told you about 150 grand. I don't think I asked for money for repairs, but if I did, it would, I would have said, give me like 20 grand. Okay, so maybe I did. So that would have been like $170,000 loan. My bank would require me to put 10% of that down plus 2% loan costs. So that would be 3,400 plus 10%, which is gonna be 20 grand. So if I make, 25 to 40 on 20 grand, what's my return? More than your investment. So it's like 150%. So if it's 150% return, now here's where you get the crazy number. Let's just say it's a hundred and a quarter percent, right? 125% return. Now, when people talk about the stock market being 8% or 10.5%, I just laugh because that's crap numbers. So long-term real estate hold, this would not be a great deal for me. That's why I want a quick flip, make some money, turn it off and be done with it, okay? And where, where I would get, give Daniel a little bit of extra advice and say, hey, you know, if you see something, let's go the extra addition, like lighting on the exterior, stuff like that. It's really gonna make people, this is where we wanna go the extra on this property. Like I said, the deck is gonna make a big difference, stain this thing off, make this look really good. That's why you wanna start with your contractor super low because we know we have a small job. As we hit him with extras, he's gonna to wanna to get us a little bit more money. So ideally we wanna get that budget under 10 grand. Going back to where why real estate makes so much sense. If you're brand new and you're looking to invest in real estate and you're like, God, I don't understand how guys are making 400% of their money, all these guys are talking about 400 percent so three week flip okay let's say we get done in three weeks this property's on the market by june 1st 2023 eh, we get it on the market in june we price it right we're at 2 18 550 whatever the hell it is now we get a contract right away it takes us 60 days to sell that property so within 90 days we sell a property and we made 125 percent on our money now if i do that same thing with that same money three more times in a year, it's 375%. If I have them going on simultaneously, and I have, do I have many flips going on simultaneously, Daniel? Yeah. Then that's where you're talking about making these huge numbers. That's why you wanna leverage and do flips with hard money. And I believe when you buy rental properties, you wanna buy cheap, inexpensive rental properties from the cash that you make on your flips. You're better off investing your money into flipping properties for profit, putting that cash into a rental property that's inexpensive 50 grand 60 grand seventy thousand bucks put that in there put no mortgage on it get all the return have no pressure have no high insurance cost have none of that stuff and that's how you do the formula now as you grow you get one rental two rentals three rentals four rentals five rentals and now you're saying all right i'm making a thousand bucks a rental i'm up to four grand a month i have i have no debt on it and i'm continuing to flip to make money now how do i eliminate taxes right how do i reduce my taxable income well, then I leverage and I buy big, expensive properties that don't produce massive amounts of cash flow. But what they do is they cause me accelerated depreciation called things like cost segregation. And that is going to allow me to pay almost no income taxes. So if I made not almost no income taxes, but if I do this right, I could reduce my uh, federal income tax to very low. I'm going to have to pay state in Kansas or Missouri. I'm going to have to pay like four or five percent state tax. I'm going to have to pay other taxes, but my federal income tax I can reduce to be bare bones. Sometimes you could actually get a, a reimbursement, right? If you if you did a bunch of projects, like if I did a bunch of these projects where I did creative financing, let's say I bought a big building, a million dollar building, and I put like 10% down with the owner, I'm gonna be able to 
take a $300,000 loss on that property right away. Joe Biden's loss, like 80% of that loss. So I'll take $220,000 as a loss against my income. So real estate is about accounting. It's about construction. It's about finance. It's about all these things that you didn't learn in school. I went to school, I got a college degree and I didn't learn Jack Ola. If you wanna learn how to become a real estate investor and if you wanna quit your nine to five, or if you want to accelerate your nine to five because you're not learning enough in your nine to five, you're not learning how to become rich, add this to it, right? Like do one flip a year, buy one rental property a year, add that to your nine to five. If you want somebody that can help you there, we've got a coaching program where I hold your hand. Like I grab your hand and I say, I got you. I've got students all around the country doing it. And I'm not doing this to make a ton of money. To be honest with you, I'm very slow to scale on the student thing. But what I get the most satisfaction of is teaching a skill set that I taught myself and teaching other guys and women how to do the exact same thing that I've done. And I can tell you, we do this over and over, day in and day out. We just filled up a 31 unit apartment building that it was completely like us figuring out what works, what didn't work, and all that stuff and figuring out how to exactly do that. Like 31 unit, we ran the numbers on an $800 rental times 31, it made sense. But then as we got it, we realized the quality tenants were crap and that long-term traveling nurses in Kansas City are a high commodity and they don't have a place to live. Now those rentals are getting $2,000 a month and we're not even doing short-term because now Kansas City's talking about getting rid of the short-term but we're doing long-term rentals, right? So now we filled out a niche because we pivoted. So if you noticed about everything I talked about here in real estate, I'm talking about pivoting. Like don't just have one action plan. What if this thing doesn't sell? Like I talked to you about all the great numbers, but what if this thing doesn't sell? I gotta rent it. So what's my rent gonna be? I'm gonna get 13, 1400, probably 1400 bucks a month. Not that exciting, but I do believe we could make at least $25,000 by flipping the property. If we make $25,000 flipping the property, it allows me to do a couple different things. One, it allows me to teach you on YouTube how to do a very simple flip very easily and that anybody who's construction related could do this house by themselves very quickly. A lot of people come and say like, oh, we gotta rip out everything. We gotta start all the way over. It's like, forget all that crap. You ain't gonna make no money. You know, I'm talking to one of my students in New Jersey the other day. He's like, I wanna rip out all the windows. I want, no, stop that, right? So it's talking about going in, solving the problems, putting this thing back together beautifully and doing it for the least expensive price possible. One of the guys who taught me before I really got flipping was a guy named Armando Montilago. Look him up. He was the least expensive guy out of San Antonio, Texas. And he was a big guru on the HGTVs. But he was always like, I'm gonna go in with a super low budget and I'm gonna get it done. If you go in there with that mindset, then you'll actually make more money than going in with the mindset of I'm gonna spend my way out of my problem. So think of solutions, don't think of problems. Get started investing in real estate. Take action. If you wanna schedule a coaching call, just click the link in my bio, set it up. We'll get on a phone call together and we'll decide if you can make money investing in real estate, just like I did it. You don't gotta be a brain surgeon. I got a 1.8 GPA. My parents almost held me back. I'm not the smartest guy in the, on the block, but if you're determined to change your life trajectory you don't like what you're doing for a living and you believe that it's possible for you this is a tangible way you don't gotta buy stocks you don't gotta predict extreme formulas you just gotta buy a house for a discount and I actually overpaid for this one normally I really like to make a lot more money than that so get started investing in real estate we'll check out the next one peace